Hi everybody, welcome back to The Den with Gavin and uh, as you can see in front of me we've got uh, a rather large model today to have a run through with. It's the uh, Millennium Falcon um, made by Leapin. Uh, so we're using the Leapin version of the Millennium Falcon and um, this is uh, Leapin for those that don't know is the uh, clone, the Lego clone out from China and to all intents and purposes uh, you can't tell the difference between. Anyway, we're not going to go on into a leaping. If you're interested in more about leaping, there's lots and lots of videos. I've done a few leaping unboxings um, because it's absolutely bonkers busy at the moment here in the den. We've got a lot, to, uh, a lot of builds going on. Um, as you can see to my right, the space shuttle there. I'm currently building the uh, Lego space shuttle and the leaping space shuttle, and that'll be out on another video very shortly. But uh, we've just completed this. It's the 5,300 odd pieces. Um, it's a clone of the original UCS uh, Millennium Falcon brought out by Lego some 10 years ago and uh, up until sort of recently you were talking about if you want an original Lego copy you were talking at least in excess of two, possibly £3,000 uh, but since Lego have uh, uh, announced their new version which is currently out um, in short supply as, as, uh, as predicted that's the new 7,000 odd uh, piece model um, had some interiors and everything. Um, it seems though like the second hand prices plummet. However, I'm not one for buying uh, big collectible models. Um, I'm just interested in the build and I got this in from Leaping for about £130 which was uh, really good value for money because I just want to do the build and uh, what a build it was. We're talking around about, it took me over 30 hours um, doing a few hours of an evening. I've never listened to so many audio books and um, it was uh, it, it, it's it's a monster. To be honest with you, you can't really get a scope of this uh, just by having a look at photographs and having a look at the size of it without actually being in front of it. It is huge. It weighs eight kilos minimum. Um, you know, it's a it's almost nearly a two man lift. Um, huge amount of detail. Absolutely stunning model. Um, in my unboxing, the mega unboxing I did, you know that I'd, um, on that mega drop. There was, uh, you know, the Death Stars in there, the Star Destroyer and the Super Star Destroyer we've got going on. So um, the den's going to be quite busy, um, uh, well, running out of space basically. But uh, an amazing amount of detail, really good build, um, very few little bits of components we need to comment about. But um, an absolute monster. Um, so without further ado, let's have a closer look and uh, get some feedback on what we've seen. Okay, so there she is, the Millennium Falcon. What an absolute beautiful looking craft. Uh, I'm going to be using the camera held by hand just to take us around everything. It's such a large uh, product that uh, just mounting it on a tripod and going through the pieces um, just wouldn't do it justice. So forgive me if I get a bit of camera shake and so on. So one of the first things we need to have a look at is the manual. Well, the manual was absolutely outstanding. I didn't have any problems with the manual at all. Comes in really nice quality car, uh, stock, um, all full colour, really clear. I didn't have any issues with any of the build or construction or anything within the booklet. Um, there was nothing uh, ambiguous. I believe that it's a bit smaller than the uh, Lego one. Reason being they've combined a number of steps into uh, one page. So rather than having, uh, you know, that's this this job here going over three or four pages they combined it into one page it seemed to make a lot of sense in addition to that all the leaping stuff does not come with numbered bags i'm not a big fan of numbered bags i like to get all the components out and uh, get them all um spread around everywhere and and you know um, get them all in the little boxes and sorting them all out i'm not a big big fan on the numbered bags okay and so there's our little sign as you can see the they call it Star Warns, um, obviously for copyright and so on. But a uh, really nice little plate there for, for the model. Uh, and we'll just take a good scan over the model there. Beautiful detail, really nice. Don't have any issues whatsoever with the quality of the leaping bricks. Um, I did offer them up and have the, you know, I played around with some of the plates and uh, clicked them into the Lego plates and everything 
and absolutely found no issue whatsoever. The tolerances are exactly the same. The quality feels exactly the same. Some of the people said that uh, some of the mini figs looked a bit glossier. Well, I got Chewbacca who's in there up against my real Lego Chew Chewy, um, and I didn't see one piece of difference at all. Some people said about the legs as well on the Millennium here. I didn't have any issues with that. Um, absolutely nothing that I could uh, differentiate that uh, was a problem. Sorry for the it's all going in and out of focus there, but uh, we'll jump back out again and we'll go around the back of the model. Obviously, I need to invest in a somewhat slightly better camera and going around the back of the model there. You can see all the detail and everything. Okay. Um, so, what are some of the actual uh, problems I did have? Well, <laughs> literally, I can name them on one hand. Um, there was a, a component here. Um, I don't know if you can see, it just didn't get moulded. Uh, it wasn't injected correctly and is missing a sort of bit of plastic. That, that's the only piece out of the 5,500 that I found. Oh, I tell a lie. Um, there was a uh, 1x4 plate that... For some reason, um, uh, the tolerances weren't as good on it. So there was one by four plate, and there was this piece, and that was it. Um, there wasn't anything else um, that was a problem. Um, and there's Skywalker with his long blonde flowing hair. So and everything. I mean, this is actually when you lift this out. This is the only way that you can actually pick it up. You actually have to grip it around that centre section there and that's the only way that you can lift this model. It's certainly not a model. Um, there's no whooshability in this model at all. Um, it really is one for uh, uh, just on the display and an absolute monster it is. Now what is the uh, one of the other pluses that we got? Well we ended up with this huge bag of bits. Um, I put everything into this one. I mean, this is well known for leaping. You end up on the larger models with a really big bit, bag of bits. Um, I'm going to have got a, a, quite a few large models to get built, and I'm anticipating that I'll probably end up with enough bits to, to build certainly something else. So let's have a quick scan around the other side. You can get an impression of the size of this. It's absolutely huge. Really, really nice. Really nice. So that'll be on my back plane, as it were, on my trolley at the back of me. And there we have the Millennium Falcon. Absolutely stunning and very worthwhile the money. So, quick overview. There's a lot of these videos out there, but that's one from the den. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe um, by clicking the button at the end of the video. And uh, keep a look out because we've got some pretty cool builds coming up. Okay, so till next time, thanks for watching.